What's going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and wow, just wow, today we have something epic and that is a look at a weapons loadout and what we can expect they will offer during the full game. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video, at the end leaving a like is much appreciated on my behalf. So earlier today on Reddit, a user by the name of Irene RR4 dropped information from being able to play the beta early at a London Virgin Media Destiny 2 event. So big thanks to Irene for the info. So the screenshot he shared, you guys can see on screen now, it's very, very interesting indeed. So the weapon we see here is called It Does Not Compute. It's a scout rifle, obviously. Bottom right, we see stats, i.e. range, impact, stability, and so forth. Now onto the shady stuff and the things we currently didn't know about weapons within Destiny 2. Okay, so this icon right here represents the weapon's intrinsic perk. Yes, you heard that right. Legendaries have these intrinsic perks, which can roll, offering multiple different perks, so to speak, to the very same weapon. So this does not compute, could have a stability perk here giving the weapon extra stability, while another drop of this weapon, although other perks will be the exact same, the intrinsic perk could offer a range increase instead of stability. Now an actual full list of these intrinsic perks have not been revealed, but I'm guessing there are a few which can drop. This in my opinion is great great news, as I was worried that although every weapon of the same name has the exact same perks, I honestly can't see Bungie adding an enormous arsenal of weapons into the game. So that grind we all love for that perfect rolled weapon was going to be a thing of the past. Giving legendaries intrinsic perks adds that grind for the perfect weapon setup back into the game. Although weapons I can confirm will be way more balanced across the board, this in my opinion is still a great addition. You will still get excited if the weapon you've had dropped three times in the past drops again because it could offer a different intrinsic perk which could make the weapon better or worse. So moving on and as you can see it states weapon mods. So what do these two icons mean? The first icon is a weapon mod. This again can also add an extra perk so to speak to your weapon giving you even more options of having a better rolled weapon of the same name. Interestingly I have heard from a few different sources who have played this beta early that within this weapon mod slot there are a selection of mods you can apply to the weapon. So as I predicted ages ago, you can have more than one weapon mod attached to a single weapon, which you can switch between when you deem fit. Obviously only one weapon mod will be usable at a single time, but this, like I said ages ago, is a great way of saving space within your vault, and this is the reason why. Let me explain this example with a sniper rifle. Some people will have, including me, will have like three types of the very same sniper rifle for different circumstances. Now you can have one sniper rifle with different mods which would take up the purpose of them three different snipers, therefore saving you space within your vault. This in my opinion is a great great addition. The icon next to it represents a shader, so yes people, weapon shaders are in the game which is amazing, something I'm sure we've all waited for for years. Now if this was an energy weapon or a weapon in the energy slot, a box will be in between these two boxes which would state the weapon's elemental damage type, which is pretty cool. Now as I said at the start of the video, this info and the screenshot has been taken from the beta which we will get to play tomorrow which I cannot wait for. Loads of weapons and armors are dropping within this beta which you can inspect. And on that note guys, I'm ending the video. Not long people, not long at all. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do hit that like button, I do appreciate the support. Tell me what you think about this whole new weapon loadout down below in that comment section. If you're new around here and enjoy Daily Destiny, make sure you subscribe and I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong.